In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can get absolute crazy pressure off the right edge against the gun bunch in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, like I said, hit that subscribe button. But I also wanted to let you know about our uh, defensive guide. Now, defense is definitely not easy this year by any means, but... I've been putting a ton of work in the lab, and we've actually released our first defensive guide over at our website. So go ahead and check that link down in the description if you want to get that defensive guide. Um, we've got over seven hours of content in that defensive guide, and we're continuing to update that defensive guide uh, throughout the course of the first month of the Madden season as the patches start to settle in. Hopefully they patch the zones. Hopefully they change some of the things around. So if any of the blitzes ever get patched or if any of the coverages need to change, we're able to just fluidly update that guide for you guys. That guide is 15 bucks, and like I said, it's in the description if you want to get access to it. Okay, guys, so we're talking about LB Cross 3 Show 2, and I wanted to share with you kind of a, honestly, kind of a unique uh, little pressure package out of the 245 odd. This is kind of a spin off of our 335 odd. We use very similar concepts in the 335 odd, which is the main defense in our defensive guide, and I believe the best defense for getting pressure consistently in this year's game. But 245 odd is uh, one of those formations that I started the year out really testing out a lot, and then I kind of went away from it, and now I'm kind of coming back around to it because I've found some new pressure out of it that I actually really enjoy and I think is actually fairly effective. So you can use a lot of the 335 odd concepts within the 245 odd and vice versa. So anyways, that being said, we're going to be going over the LB Cross 3 Show 2, which is just my favorite play in the game. It's my favorite play from 335 odd. It's my favorite play from 245 odd as well. So anyways, LB Cross 3 Show 2. And I'm going to show you two different types of pressure. We're going to be able to get pressure against the gun bunch kind of as it is. And then if they flip the gun bunch, we're going to show you how to get pressure against that as well. Okay, guys, so super simple setup here. All we're going to do is we are going to pinch our linebackers. Take a look at you see here. It's going to kind of peel this guy out, which is really unique uh, to this specific defense. And then all we're going to do is we're going to crash our line down. And you're going to see that it's going to get give us these angles. We're going to crash our line down and globally blitz all of our linebackers. So you're going to see here that and I don't know if my play art's not showing, but here we go. So there's the play art. You see that it looks like this, okay? Now, uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this user and we're gonna kind of pop him right over the center, right in this little pocket. And at the snap of the ball, we're just gonna hold left trigger. And what you'll see is our pressure gets picked up. Um, the, the 245 odd is a little bit finicky in terms of the stacking and the placement of that linebacker. Um, occasionally, what you wanna do is you actually just wanna leave him. You, what you're trying to do is, if you take a look at these blitz angles here, you're trying to get these little stacks right here. That's really the goal. And then from there, you know, when you pinch, now you bring him out, and now you've got a little bit better of a shot at getting this pressure home. So, anyways, you see here, that's how we got our looper to come through the middle. I find that out of the 245 odd, the looper is a little bit more um, finicky. He doesn't always come in completely free, but it is fairly effective. Now, the other thing I want to highlight about 245 odd is the contain pressure. So, uh, what you're going to see here is the contain blitz. You see, I just contained. That's going to help significantly with this pressure. Take a look at this left side. You're going to see he's going to absolutely scream off the edge. So just by simply putting the guy in a contain allows us to get screaming, screaming pressure at the quarterback. Now, the cool part about this, it doesn't work every time, but I do want to show this, um, is occasionally what you can actually do is you can get that same kind of heavy pressure if you just drop into a four-man four rush. So here you're going to see I'm just going to blitz four people, kind of hold this guard, and here you see we got picked up but occasionally that will come in off that left side edge it's not a hundred percent consistent um at least if it is i haven't quite figured out exactly how to make it a hundred percent consistent yet this is number one reason why i like the two four five a little bit more um or the three three five odd because it is a hundred percent consistent out of that defense but anyways let me show you one more time so as you can see here the contain rush is not a hundred percent consistent but the beauty of the contain rush is it comes in really fast especially and it is it is very consistent if you send five. So if you send that loop guy, you know, you're going to get this pretty much every single time. So you see, here's your setup. You're going to send the looper right off the edge here. And I mean, every single time. It's super fast pressure, like super, super fast. Okay. And I really like how fast it comes in. Now, uh, I want to show the same blitz, but I want to show it flipped. And it's actually better. Um, I find that the 245 odd is actually a better blitz 
if the formation is flipped. So you see here that if I flip the, the gun bunch and we run it like this, you're gonna see a little bit better pressure in my opinion. All we're gonna do is we're gonna globally blitz the linebackers and that's pretty much all you have to do with this one. That's literally it and then you're just gonna use her this guy and what you're gonna see is your pressure is gonna absolutely scream off the edge. Now, if you wanted to get it to come in kind of at that same pace as the uh, left side pressure, just contain rush after you globally blitz. So you're gonna see here, um, let me show you this real quick. All right, there's the contain right off that edge as you can see and then snap the ball and look how fast that comes in. That's super, super fast heat. Um, like really, 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 really fast heat. And the cool part about this one um, is it doesn't tie your user to anything necessarily specific. So uh, for example, if I wanted to take my user on this play and I wanted to kind of sit like right in here, um, then you certainly can do this. You'll see the pressure will still completely scream off that edge every single time. They'll completely ignore that pressure. Now, I do want to quickly point out, this is one of the other reasons why 245-odd, in my opinion, is not as good yet as 325-odd is. Um, if they block a running back on that side, I find that to be fairly consistent for picking up pressure. Um, but as you can see here, you see how it picks it up. The running back doesn't exactly pick it up, but it just kind of changes the blocking targeting, and they're able to pick up that edge heat. Um, with that blocked running back. So that's just something that you have to be aware of with this blitz. Um, you know, I find, like I said, that, you know, it's not 100%, not 100% consistent, especially um, in the event that they block a running back, okay? But I do like the placement, I do like the positioning, and I also think that the loop pressure um, is actually kind of unique. One other little pro tip with this, with this defense is once you globally blitz the linebackers, you can actually show blitz and spread and then pinch your linebackers. You're gonna see that it's gonna bring these guys into the gaps just like this right here. Um, this can be a fun way to create some pressure as well. Maybe create a little bit more um, you know, pressure off the edge there. But you know, all in all, in my opinion, the best way to do it is actually just to keep these linebackers where they're at within this specific defense. Um, just because of the way the blocking works out of this, you're gonna get better pressure if you just kind of keep them consistent. Um, and I think that the contain pressure is actually a little bit better out of this out of this specific package. So again, you're just contain rushing after you crash your line down and blitz your linebackers. And you'll see here, we're gonna get that in. See how fast that is? I get super fast pressure, but one issue I run into with it is like I said, if they block a running back, you know, you can run this and you'll see that, you know, it's really simple to set up. You don't have to move anybody, you don't really have to do anything. But if the, if they block a running back, I just want you to know that you know there's a good chance you're gonna get picked up I mean here you'll see see I mean it's just a simple blocking of the running back and they're able to pick that up so you know that's just kind of the one drawback to the blitz obviously they're blocking six like right? they're blocking six you're sitting five so sure I mean you know they should be able to pick it up you know you're only sitting five people at this at this uh, quarterback uh, five on five pressure so it's not bad pressure at all um, but I don't like how easy it is for them to pick it up with a blocked running back. The 3 through 5 odd that we have in the defensive guide will show you how to get in very consistently against a blocked running back. But anyways, guys, if you want to get the defensive guide, there's a link in the description. It kind of builds off of this concept that I'm sharing with you in this video. And it's really, really intense. We go through and dive into a lot of specific style defenses, trying to help people uh, be able to defend against gun bunch or gun doubles or gun trips or gun bunch tied in or gun spread. A lot of the popular stuff you're gonna see online. Uh, we also have some really good run defense in there and we have phenomenal red zone defense this year, which in my opinion is the most important place to be able to defend in Madden. So thanks for watching this video. If you wanna get my defensive guide, there's a link in the description. You can click that link. It'll take you over to my website and you can grab that defensive guide for yourself and start locking people down in Madden 22.